In the following tutorial I will show you how to create a custom movie poster. Uh, it's not difficult to do but there are a lot of steps so you may want to take notes. And first thing you want to do is download a custom created campaign template. It's a Photoshop file and you should be able to find this uh, link to download on my website on World of Level Design. You can do a little search. Uh, I'll also include, if you're viewing this at YouTube, uh, you should be able to find the link in the info details uh, about this video. And this poster template was created by Adam Riches, and he created this. And I want to, I just want to give him props because he went uh, far uh, above and beyond. Let me show you really quick how many full set of layers for every character that you are able to use and create your custom movie poster. There is grunge effects, there are text, I mean this is just amazing. So go ahead and download this and uh, use this as a template to create your own movie posters. So uh, now that being said, I use this template that uh, Adam created and I created my own. And I just copied and pasted most of the stuff and here is my final poster. So as a little side note, the easiest way to start creating a poster is go to File, New, and just create a new 1024 by 1024 with a resolution of 72 canvas and just fill it with black and you can just go to Fill color and you just select the color. Fill it with black. Now go to your template, select all the layers, and the way you do that is just select the bottom, hold shift, select the top, and you've selected everything in there. Now create a little space and then take all these layers and just drag them into the new canvas. So now we can kind of close this. So now on the new canvas while well, we have everything selected. So when w you have to have everything selected and if you press control T you can start resizing. And uh, the template uh, was created a bit higher in uh, resolution than uh, the template that we need. So we just need to scale everything down. And if you hold down shift as you scale, it will scale uniformly. So just uh, scale everything so it fits. So it looks like I need to scale a little bit more. And once you have it in there, press enter. At this point, you can uh, go in and insert your own image of the map in the background. You can change the text, you can turn off and on layers, and you can replace any of the characters with uh, with different stand-ins. We will create four files. These four files are loading screen, out title, thumbnail, and the add-on image. So let me show you, I created all four images. So let me open them up really quick. An add-on image, an out title, then we're going to create a thumb, and a poster. So you, you need four different files. First is the movie poster. This is what you see when your map gets loaded in and you wait as your map is loading. And this image size it 1024 by 1024. This image is required to have an alpha channel. After you create your poster uh, and you like how it looks, you need to create an alpha channel. And in here, right now I don't have a I don't have an alpha channel, so let's create it. First uh, what you want to do is you wanna in Photoshop you want to marquee select the entire poster image and you want the alpha channel of the poster to be white. So once you have this selected, you go to channel tab, click on the little arrow here and you want to create a new channel. 
and now everything is we still have a poster selected and we have a, a, a new alpha channel and what you, you want to do is you want to fill this with white so now that it's filled with white we have an alpha channel uh, and then let me go back and to check back in channels we have an alpha channel here so I, we have an alpha channel created for the poster and what you want to do is you want to save it and just go ahead and save and you want to save as a target image and the name is very important the file name of the loading screen should be loading screen underscore uh, name of your map so in my case it's Hotel Swiss and make sure that alpha channel is checked you want to save and you want to save as a 32-bit pixel and poster wise we are finished now we want to create an out title and what this does is when you when your campaign and your map has ended and you see titles you see title screen come up uh, this is what you see on top so for this file image size of this is 1024 by 256 so here is mine and it's just a simple text with uh, some blood splatter uh, across so you want to save this as target as well and the name of this file you want to save as outro title underscore name of the map so I'm going to have save 24 bit pixel click OK now that's two of the files we created and we have two more to go so the next the next image is a thumb the dimensions of this particular image are 256 is 128 and again this is another very simple image just text some blouse platter and now we'll let's save and this one I'm gonna save as left for dead name of the map save and I'm saving all of these as uh, targa as .tga and the final one is we're gonna save as a JPEG and this is just this is a 128 by 128 image and this is what gets viewed during your user interface uh, map selection so go ahead and save this as a JPEG and you want to name it as add-on image dot JPEG save so now we have four images created so let me go back let me open all of these up so with all these four images add-on image dot JPEG at 128 by 128 we have a thumbnail which is 256 by 128 we have a poster which is 1024 by 1024 and it has an alpha channel and our banner which is an outro title which goes at the end and uh, this one is 1024 by 256 so in the next section uh, we will take all these four files and we will convert them to a VTF and a VMT which will allow us to use inside Left 4 Dead